Hey guys, Mr. Lopez here with today's Glow Devotional. Today's devotional is going to be found in 1 Peter 1, verses 23 to 25. Hey, listen, this is a great time to do this. Ask your mom to go out and grab some of the pictures of when you were born. When you were a baby, just those cute little pictures of a chubby little baby that you could just squeeze the little cheeks on. Have her bring those out. You guys can look through them. It's a great time. We've actually done that at my family's house, and we are just kind of going through some of the old pictures. It's great to see what you guys look like as babies. Little Mariello. Okay, forget it. I won't bring that up. Anyhow, guys, go ahead and do that. It's a fantastic time to be with your families, but it's a time that you can really talk about when you were born. It was a great time for your parents. Every parent remembers the birth of their children. They can remember a glorious time where God gave them a little blessing. It was such a wonderful day. Emotions are high and things are just so great. I mean, I remember when Matlin was born even. That was so many years ago and yet I still remember the day. So remember taking pictures and just kissing her and touching her for the first time. It is a glorious time. But guys, First Peter actually reminds us that God says something else about being born. This is being born again. First Peter 1, 23 to 25 say, being born again, not a corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof fall away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. The very beginning of that says, Being born again, not of corruptible seed. That is that first birth. That's that birth that we love to talk about. Those baby pictures show that first birth. But he says, of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. See, God's word abides forever. But there's a second birth, a birth that talks about that time when you come to know Christ as your Savior. That comes through knowing the word of God, by hearing the word of God, by hearing it preached and talking to your parents about what God has planned for you. He wants you to come to know him as Savior. He wants you to have a second birth, a birth that is even more glorious than the first, a time when you come and be, you are born again, you're brought into the family of God. This is an amazing, amazing time. Again, these verses talking about a second birth, and guess what? Many times we've got pictures of that as well. I've got pictures of all my kids as they come to know Christ as Savior. They are baptized one day, showing everyone that they can be recognized as a child of God. Showing everyone that they are in obedience to God's Word. Guys, this is what it's talking about in these verses. Talking about being born again, and that by the word of God that endures forever. It never goes away. This birth isn't a birth that has a death, but only a life, an everlasting life with God our Father. Nothing could be better than any of that. So that today's Glow Devotional, talking about a second birth. If you don't know the Lord as your Savior, talk to your parents. Ask them what that means. Get into your Bible. Mom and dad, dad can take you through the Romans road. They can show you what God says about being born again.